Welcome to Model Horse Tax School. My name is Carrie, and today we're going to do some button options for shirts. So I made these Western shirts, and now let's see, what can we do for buttons? I did some Sculpey ones, and I was informed that they're way too big. So we're going to try something else. These are round beads for uh, decorating nails. They come in different sizes. So what I'm doing here is uh, trying to get the tiny ones. They come, this particular brand came in like five sizes. And I want to use the teeny tiny ones. And I'm just doing a drop of glue. And I don't want to go past that the waistline because the pants will just knock it off anyways. No reason to waste a button. So we're just kind of, um, yeah, right here. Just kind of putting them on there. Teeny tiny ones. And um, these are small enough. I don't think anybody will really notice. And... And they stay on pretty good with the Aliens tacky glue, but you can use whatever glue you want. Uh, but that is the first one. These are pearlized. They're clear, so they'll really go with anything. Now, um, same thing. I'm going to use some bigger ones. This is for the 8-inch doll, so I'm going to use some bigger ones. Where you put these, you just want them to be even all the way down, okay? But don't go past the hips. Like I said, you're going to have maybe chaps or uh, make sure you're not going to do a vest. If you're going to do a vest, you want to wait until you have the vest fitted and on and then determine where you want to put the buttons because you don't want to put buttons under the vest. It just adds extra bulk. So same thing. I'm using some sticky wax on the point of my this uh, needle on a stick and then go ahead and put those away. Okay, now for the guys, I'm going to use pin heads. So those are um, when I'm making like cinches and I lop off the heads of the pins. Um, so I put a whole bunch of junk in this little uh, box and it's just miscellaneous and here's all my pen heads and so we're going to do those for the guys now these are silver and I'm not really going to want silver so I'm going to go ahead and put those on and then I'll paint them I will go ahead and very carefully with a small paintbrush paint them a brown color so that they actually match that way you don't have silver buttons. Now you can use your pin heads. You can use, like I said, the nail baubles. Those round ones were pretty cool. Um, you can make your own with like a 0.5 millimeter punch hole from Tandy and some foil if you want. Um, pin heads are, um, there's some nail heads uh, for nails that are metal and I have some in different colors. Uh, but basically it's the same process. We're just gonna use a little bit of sticky glue or sorry tacky glue on the point of my needle and then glue to glue them on we're going to do the same thing with this guy uh, but the point is you want something small probably about 0.5 millimeter so we're talking very small um, unless you're doing it for decorative buttons i have a shirt that was gold and so i used a big gold um punched out foil for the shirt um, but I just want you to see different ways you can do the buttons and that it, they're really pretty easy to apply a little sticky wax on a, on a needle and then make sure that they're pointing upward. As you can see, it's a pretty subtle effect. You can barely tell that they're on there um, after they're painted. I well, hope you enjoyed this information today. Thank you for joining me. Like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel. You have yourself a really good day.